Hi, I'm Marguerite De Leon and welcome to Rappler Talk. We're here today with arguably one of the most talked about local social media personalities today. She's actually trending right now on Twitter. Um, she is the person behind the Pinoy Ako blog, which is one of the most fiercely critical blogs against the Duterte administration. Um, and as of this recording, she actually came out and revealed her identity after being anonymous for so long, just a few hours ago. Um, so welcome to Rappler, Jover Laurio. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Uh, sige, let, let's start from the basics. Okay. So, paano po nag-umpisa yung Pinoy Ako blog? Ano, um, nag-umpisa siya noong December. Kasi um, nung ar around September last year, mm -hmm. I posted a certain, parang blog din, pero sa personal account ko. Mm -hmm. What happened is that it trended, parang nakuha siya ng mga bloggers. Tapos it was shared like 29,000 times. And then I get bashed, receive threats and all. Yung parang, nata parang feeling ko, naka parang ganito pala pag magsasalita ka. So, nai-stop ako magsulat as a person, as Jover. And then kaya lang with all these things na nangyayari kasi, ang hirap tumahimik. Yung parang, mahirap tumahimik na nakikita mong ang daming namamatay araw-araw. Yung parang, pahirap na pahirap na yung sitwasyon. That's the reason why gumawa ako ng page, yung Pinoy Ako Vlog. Actually, noon, ano lang yun eh, 150 followers mm -hmm. lang. Tapos, that time, nagla-live pa ako, voice live lang. Kasi sabi ko, konti lang naman kami. Hmm, yun, doon nagsimula. Tapos, then, they are reporting me after siguro mga 2,000 followers na nire-report nila lagi yung page. Anong report Yung po? parang like, sa Facebook. To take it down. Oh, to take it down. Tapos one week, nagsususpindi kami. Yung parang, ang sa, pag ganun pala, pag may mga followers kang ganun, parang sakit-sakit na, pati hindi ako makapag-post. Mm -hmm. Yung parang ganun na, parang hinihintay din nila yung post mo. Tapos, then, the blog, yun, doon pumasok sa isip ko mag-blog. Kasi naisip ko, masuspend man yung page, yung blog, nandun pa rin, may makakabasa pa din. Tapos yun, doon na ano, si Pinoy ako blog, doon ako nag-start na mag-blog na talaga. Oh. Hindi ko ina-expect na eh, people would like it, kasi sabi ko nga, hindi, minsan nga mali-mali pa yung grammar ko at spelling. <laughs> I mean, kasi hindi na, I'm not a writer, simpleng tao lang ako, just ko. <laughs> yun lang, doon nagsimula si Pinoy ako blog. Did you expect na, you, right now sa Facebook, you have 91,000, over 91,000 followers? Hindi. Kung tatanungin mo ako noon, nang sinimulan ko si Pinoy Ako Vlog, hindi. Okay, so, um, yung umpisa, you decided to remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever see yourself as someone who would come out later on? And explain mo kung bakit anonymous ka dati, mm -hmm. di ba? Kasi ano, um, when you came out as Joe, or when you were starting as Jover Laurio, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so did you ever see yourself na eventually you would come out naman? Yeah, hindi ko maano eh, hindi, ka, kasi nga itong nangyayari ngayon, hindi ko to ina-expect. Right. Parang hindi ko ina-expect na ano. Siguro oo, pwede rin siguro dumating yung point na mag-come out, pero hindi ko lang ina-expect na ganito yung magiging sitwasyon na madadamay pati yung security ko at security ng family ko, yun lang. I mean, I could have come out na in a normal way mm -hmm. na hindi ganito na kailangan kong lumabas to protect myself and my family. Anong klaseng threats po yung nakuha niyo? Yung ano, like, ingungudnud kita sa simento pag nakita kita, like, pag, uh, pag nakasalubong kita, patay ka sa akin, yung mga ganun. Ta Mga, mga ganong threats. Has there ever been any real life threats? Like may lumapit po ba sa yon in real so life? So far, thank God, wala pa naman po. Mm -hmm. Wala pa naman po. How Yun does, lang, online lang. How does your family feel about it? Mama ko kasi wala siyang social media account. Mm -hmm. Hindi niya naiintindihan kung gano'n to kalaki. In fact, nang nagpaalam ako sa kanya kagabi na sabi ko, ma, lalabas ko na. na do, alam niya na si Pinoy ako, vlog ako. Na, o sige. Tapos kay, ngayon kasi, nandun sila sa PGH kasi for the laboratory ng, ng mama na yun ko for, may sakit kasi siya eh. She has cancer. And then, sabi niya sa akin, nag uh, siya kanina, nasan ka? Sabi ko, nandito magpo-post na. Sabi niya, o oh, wag mong kalimutan yung PhilHealth ha, bayaran mo. 
ko, oh, po, sabi ko, <laughs> af- after ko mag-post, and then, nalate na nga ako ng, gisi- ng ano, papun- on the way ako, nag-message siya uli. Sabi niya, nasan ka na? Sabi ko, papunta po ako ng Rappler mm-hmm. kasi mag-i-interview daw. So, niya, dala mo ba yung papel ng, ng, ano, ng PhilHealth? Bayaran mo, ha? Kasi gamit yun sa second chemotherapy. Oh. Ganun siya, ano, ganun siya, hula siyang social media kasi. Right. And I thank God for it. Kasi kung makikita niya yung mga kung paano ko binabasta sa social media ngayon, baka maapektuhan siya. And sabi ko na nga, sa laban na to, I can fight all the way. Pero pag si mama yung naapektuhan, hindi ko yung kakayanin. Speaking of bashing, let's go to the other side. Like right now, you're trending. Um, trending yung uh, tayo si Pab, hashtag tayo si Pab. So how do you feel about that? Na ang daming um, supporters, so to speak. I don't consider them as supporters. I consider them as Pab. Sila si Pab. Kami, tayo si Pab. Bakit po? Why kasi yung evidence? parang karapatan kasi ng bawat Pilipino na kung may nakikitang mali, kailangan punahin. Kasi paano mapupunuan nyo ng gobyerno ang kanilang pagkukulang kung umaayon ka lang sa sistema kahit mali, di ba? So, sa bawat magsasalita, for example, yung pumapasok sa office, sobrang traffic, yung magsasabi, ano ba, nagbabayad ako sa tax, ang traffic-traffic, siya si Pab. Kasi yung parang, um, ano ko eh, you're asking your government to work for you. Kasi ganun naman dapat, di ba? Yun, ganun lang. I don't consider them as followers. I consider them, I look up to them as Pab. Sila si Pab. You're a community. Oo. Okay. Um, is it okay? Well, let, let's go a little bit into uh, Kokoy Gate. Okay. Um, so, one of the reasons then kung bakit lumabas ka mm-hmm. is because of thinking Pinoy or RJ Nieto's um, search into the who was behind your blog. Uh-huh. Tapos dahil doon, lumabas na si Kokoy Dayaw, yung web administrator ng certain uh, anti-Duterte sites. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your relationship with Kokoy Dayaw? Siya yung webmaster. Mm-hmm. He's the one who's taking care of my blog. Kasi hindi, hindi ako IT na tao eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko alam na kailangan pala may domain. Mm-hmm. Nagpatulong ako sa kanya. Other than that, hanggang doon lang si Kokoy. All the content sa blog ko. Ako yun. Na, naawa nga lang ako sa tao eh. Kasi siya yung unang nabash. Mm-hmm. Siya yung unang napaglaruan ng itsura and everything. Nakakaawa lang kasi... Wala naman talaga siyang, kumbaga, siya lang yung ano, yung sa, like kung anong ginagawa ng webmaster, yun mm-hmm. lang. Paano ko siya, mo siya nakilala as a webmaster? Like, who I mean, referred you to him? I am or? one most friend ko na kasi siya dati sa Twitter. Friend as a Twitter? Ko, oh, online? Oh, oh, online. Tapos, Have you met in person? or Yeah, I, I do, I do. Kasi may mga get-together. Kasi there's there's some Twitter friends na mag-meet together. Nakilala ko na rin siya. Okay. How about ano like uh, the other anti Duterte blogs like Silent No More or Madam mm-hmm. Claudia? Do you know any of them? Hindi ko siya. Hindi ko pa sila nagig impact. Jun lang sa Twitter na pag sinasabi ni Madam Claudia, Hi sis, go. Sa sa sugat ako. Oi, thank you sis. Pero oh. actually hindi ko pa sila <laughs> nakikita. Okay. Oh. So you don't know what they look like. Oh, oh I don't. I don't. Yung nantutuwa lang ako kasi si Madam Claudia kasi nakakatuwa lang kasi siya yung parang yung personality she's niya. She's totally different from me yung parang oh, pero nakakatuwa tuwang to ako kasi how how she supported me yung kan- kanina parang ganoon lang pero kung tum- hindi ko pa sila nakilala yun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um so one of the reasons why TP started or thinking Pinoy started uh, looking for the person behind Pab um, is because he said na may sinasabi sila, is sinasabi kang libelous about him and the other proto-terte bloggers. Okay, then now that I'm out, file a case. I mean, if it's libelous, I'm out now. Uh, ano po ba yung iniisip niyang libelous? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Hindi <laughs> ko rin alam. Kung okay. sa tingin niya, ano, gaya ng sinabi niya dun sa hearing, di ba? Di ba sabi niya, kung sa tingin niyong may mali akong ginawa, kasuhan niyo ako. Then, ga- ganun din sasabihin ko. Kung sa tingin, thinking Pinoy na may libelous statement, now that I'm out, kasuhan niya ako. Okay. You mentioned um, in your coming out mm-hmm. vlog this morning na uh, you have some lawyers backing mm-hmm. you up. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us a little more about yeah. that? Yeah. Um, attorney Florine Hillby, mm-hmm. yung parang, kasi yung the attacks is escalating na eh. Mm-hmm. Mula, nung man, uh, mula nung Sunday night or Monday night yata yun. Yung parang, Sobra na yung, yung attack sa itsura mo, sa pagkatao mo, 
hinahalong kayo nila yung mga old pictures, tapos paglalaroan, sasabihan kang ulik ba, or something like that. Tapos, ipipost yung, yung pangalan mo, lalagyan ng buong name mo, kung saan ka nag-aaral. Yung parang, una sana, gusto ko lang tiisin. Ano mo yun? Yung parang, I'll just continue my writing, bahala kayo. Kaya lang, may punto po kasi na kailangan mong ipaglaban yung karapatan mo eh. Kasi, I don't know if you have checked the internet, yung mga picture na like seven years ago, uh-huh. na, na, na nung kasa, na, pumunta yata ako ng Boracay noon, uh-huh. pinost niya, tapos... Galing sa baul pa. Oo, uh-huh. galing. Yung parang ganun. Parang, hindi na tama. It's too personal na. Kung vlogger ka at vlogger ako, tirahin mo ako sa content na sinasabi ko, hindi kung ano ang okay. pagkatao ko. Kasi hindi naman yung ganun eh. Okay. Parang, yun lang. I mean, and I had to ask help from him. And fortunately, he's a good person naman na parang importante sa kanya talaga yung freedom of expression. Yun, nag, ano, yung grupo nila, yung alab, yun yung nag, ano, nag-assure na, sige, tutulungan ka namin. And I told them, wala akong pera. Sabi <laughs> ko, wala akong perang pambayad right away. Kasi wala naman talaga. Kasi, I mean, sa galing, sa galing na abogado ni Attorney Florine, I'm sure, I mean, mataas diba, yung, mataas <laughs> yung ano. Maybe, yeah. Pero sabi na, no, it's all right. I mean, okay na lang. Huwag, huwag mo nang isipin yun. And I'm that, for that, I'm really grateful. Kasi, hindi ko to kakayanin. Kasi hindi naman kami mayaman eh. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung mama ko pumipila sa PJH for every every chemo para lang makalibre kami or makamura. Kung mayaman kami, di sana sa mas magagandang hospital na. No, hindi. So speaking of which, are you paid to blog? Sa no, not a cent. Blog? Not a cent. I mean, kung paid ako, kailangan ko pa bang magtinda ng ulam sa opisina para makabayad sa tuition fee ko sa law school. Mm-hmm. I mean, kailangan ko pa bang humi... Minsan kasi, there are some people, distant relative of mine from mm-hmm. Asbate. I mean, I just, I just don't... Their family is really very generous. They're, do, they're helping me, like, for example, walang pambili ng book. Mm-hmm. And then, re, I am in that iPad na sinasabi nila. My God. Mm-hmm. That iPad was given to me by, by a friend. I mm-hmm. mean, a lawyer friend na actually, he is a uh, Duterte supporter. Kaya lang... He considered me as family. Nung nag start ako sa law school, bit-bit ko yung mga cases, books. Sabi niya, ate, para hindi ka na mahirapan, eto na lang. Sabi niya ganun. And I'm touched. Kaya pinost ko yan. Ayaw niya lang kasi ipabanggit yung pangalan niya. Yeah. Oh, pero yung sinasabi na bigay ng LP and everything. Hindi yeah. totoo. Okay. So, let's get maybe a little bit more into your personal life. Mm-hmm. Like, how would you describe yourself as a person? Um, Ano yung ginagawa mo on a daily basis? Like, you to relax? Know, or ano? Nung nasa Lyceum pa ako, College of Law, mm-hmm. uh, sa so morning, as 8 to 5, trabaho, tapos 6 to 9, nag-work. Mm-hmm. In between that, lunchtime, nagbablog ako, tapos pag yung 5 to 6, na habang naghihintay sa prof, mm-hmm. nagbablog din mm-hmm. ako. Oh. Tapos minsan, after work, ganun. Tinitingnan ko na yung mga issue na kailangan sagutin, yung mga fake, ju- fake news na kailangan, yung parang idibang. Kasi ang hirap na, parang ganun, na ang daming fake news na nagkakalat. Yun lang. Tapos, yun, simple, nag-jeep pa, papuntang office. Pap- kasi walking distance lang yung Lacey, yung College of Law, sa office ko. And then, this sem, kasi yung hindi ko na kinakaya yung work, after work, diretso sa school. Right. Oo, tapos... Inalaman ko na sa Arellano, there's an executive class, Saturday, Sunday lang. Kaya nag-transfer na ako sa Arellano. Yun. Yun lang, yung ganun lang yung buhay ko. Sunday, so magsisimba. Tapos, hindi kasi ako, paano ba? Hindi ko nga ina-expect na this would happen. Mm-hmm. Yun, ganun lang yung daily life ko, daily routine ko. Masaya na ako sa bahay, nakakapalad ng TV, nakakapag-Twitter. Yun lang. Yeah. Well, it looks like a lot of your time is spent blogging talaga when you can. Mm-mm. But what motivated you to blog like since the start? Paano ba? At bakit blogging in particular? Kasi ano eh, yung parang, parang social media parang played a vital role. Alam mo yung kung paano minumold. Kung anong society meron tayo. Yung parang ang dami na nangyayari. Parang Mahirap kasing ipikit yung, ma- ang, ipikit yung mata mo at mag- magbingi-bingihan ka. Mahirap yun eh. Kasi, like for example, makakakita ka ng 
batang natatamaan ng bigaw na bala, marikikita mo sa tibing ina na umiiyak, parang ang sakit sa dibdib na hindi magsalita. And then, instead of me keeping it, I just blog it. Yeah. Speaking of that, like, what's your thoughts on freedom of speech? Ano? Uh, freedom of speech naman kasi, it's not absolute. Mm -hmm. Di naman yun. Para sa akin kasi, yung right mo sa freedom of speech magtatapos kung yung right ng isang tao magsisimula. Kung, sa, kung nakikita nilang nabaviolate mo na sila, then, your freedom of speech dapat mag-end there. Ganun lang yun. Yung parang, at saka yung freedom of speech, parang responsibilidad mo rin yun eh. Na, na dapat, tamang impormasyon ang ilalagay mo. It, especially if, mas malaking responsibilidad if you are being paid by the tax of the people. Yung parang, utang na loob mo sa mga tao, na tamang impormasyon ang ibibigay mo sa kanila. Kasi diba, double whammy yun, binabayaran ka na nila, yung parang tax nila ang nagbabayad sa'yo. Nagpapakahirap sila sa pagtatrabaho araw-araw. Mm -hmm. Um, tapos, ang ibibigay mo sa kanila ay hindi makatotohan ng impormasyon. Mm. Parang ang sakit naman yun. Mm. Speaking lang. of that, um, mm. last week, uh, I think that was October 4, there was a Senate hearing on fake news. Mm. Tapos si Grace po, pinanggit niya dun sa hearing na um, some anonymous political bloggers, which you used to be, mm. <laughs> at least until yesterday, um, ay mga duwag. Ano pong masasabi ninyo sa sinabi ni Ms. Senator po? Opinion niya yun. Irirespeto ko yun. Pero hindi naman kasi nasusukat yung, yung pagiging matapang. Sa, I mean, sa pag, hindi, hindi yan ang sukatan ng pagiging matapang. Yung pagiging matapang na yung kahit natatakot ka, pero lumalaban ka pa rin. Yun yung matapang yun. Yung kahit alam mo na ang binabangga mo, malaking pader. Kaya lang mas iniisip mo yung ikakabuti ng marami yun yung katapangan. Yung parang katapangan yun. Pero since opinion niya yun, nire-respeto ko yun. Ano pong masasabi niyo sa fact na sina Thinking Pinoy, si RJ Nieto, sina Sass, um, labas sila as who they are as opposed to yung mga anti-Duterte hmm. vlogs na anonymous most of them. Paano pong masasabi niyo tungkol to? Well, I, I watched the video of Attorney Bruce Rivera hmm. yung sabi niya na Pareho lang naman kayo, matatapang lang tayo kasi dikit tayo sa presidente. Yung mga ganun. Pero I think matatapang talaga sila. Pero it doesn't, I mean, hindi kasi, ang, paano ba ito? Ang katapangan kasi, hindi mo pwedeng i-measure pag matapang ka, totoo ka. Mm -hmm. Yung parang, pareho sa akin, kung sakali bang hindi pa ako lumantad ngayon, would it change the fact, yung katotohanan sa mga sinasabi ko? Yun lang, yung parang, Kung kanya-kanyang opinion kami na sinasabi, mm -hmm. and then, it's just that na ako talaga yung naharas. I mean, ganun lang. I mean, kaya ay, nung una, aka, nung una, umiyak ako every night. Pag may nakikita akong post na sasabihin, ulik ba ka? Mukha kang si Shrek. Yung mga ganun. Uh, and even friends sharing it to my timeline, even mm -hmm. though they knew na it's already me ang tinutukoy. Mm -hmm. Masakit. Masakit, pero na-realize ko, kailangan mong maging matapang eh. Yung mm. parang, and, and this is not about me. Hindi naman to about sa akin eh. About ito sa pinaglalaban ko, na, na sana katotohanan lang ang ibigay ng impormasyon, na sana magkaroon ng kahit pa pagbabago. Parang ganun, ganun mm. lang. Kasi, kasi kung iisipin kong ako, matagal na akong, yung parang sige, na lang ako mag-vlog, kaya lang. It's not about me at all. It is beyond me. Um, how about uh, being open about your admiration for the Liberal Party? Like, ano pong masasabi niyo doon? Well, I mean, even though I admire some of them, mm -hmm. in fact, pero sumusulat din ako, lalo na pag nakikita kong, um, nakikita kong there's something pag mali sa ginagawa nila. Pero, I mean, even if, um, and, um, let's say 2020 or 2019, mm. even if magkaroon ng change ng administration, and then Liberal Party would be the one to head, mm. Bob will still be there calling out kung ano yung maling gina, kung may maling gagawin. Right. Yung parang, hindi naman kasi, parang, 
I think mm, I have some blog na tinitira ko rin yung liberal part. May tinira ako. I mean, I think I have a blog with VP a week ago na parang kinall out ko siya to be strong. Mm-hmm. Yung parang ganun. Kasi ang point ko lang naman, lahat hindi naman perfect yung tao eh. So, kung i-call out mo siya, baka maging tama or baka or baka mapunuan niya kung ano yung kulang. So, kahit ilang administration, be it a liberal, liberal or, or PDP laban, mm-hmm. pub will right. remain. Right. Uh, speaking of that, like, do you think blogs like Silent No More, which seems to be very clearly pro-LP, uh, mm-hmm. um, do you think they should come out? Kanya-kanya kasing ano yan eh. I mean, right nila yon to hide. Mm-mm, right nila yon Pero hindi nagbabago doon yung, I mean, kung ano yung sinasabi nila, opinion nila yon mm-hmm. na kailangan din igalang. So, kanya-kanyang ano, kanya, ako I decided to come out for my security. Mm-hmm. yon Kung gusto ng silent no more to remain that way, let's respect that. Right nga yun. Ano yun, embodied yun sa ating freedom of constitution. So now that you're out, uh, how do you see your blog in the next few months? The same few years. The same, pa rin. The same talaga. Yung parang kasi yung blog ko naman kasi hindi naman siya kasi yung pabigat. Mm-hmm. Yung I just want to yung mabigat na issue. Sisingitan mo na mga funny, like for example, I have this blog with MMDA. Yung kanilang huhulihin yung isang driver lang, mm-hmm. and then I like nilagay ko sa blog na ano may issue ba kayo sa mga single? Like, for example, I even to may quote pa ako doon na, fall in love when you're ready, not because of MMDA. Kasi yung parang, ma- mga ganun, you just add humor para hindi masyadong mabigat. Yun lang, I will still be vlogging. Yung ba-vlog pa din ako. For how about your personal life? Um, will it change your personal life? <laughs> I think so, yeah. It, it does change. It, yeah. yeah, it change. It, it really do. Like, um, like uh, when you go out in the street, how do you feel now that you know that people know no, your face? Kasi yung parang natatakot ka na rin. Mm-hmm. Natatakot ka na rin sa, sa security mo. Ba, kasi they don't control fanatics naman eh. Hindi nila right. kayang controlin oh, yun eh. Yeah. Yung parang even though may post si Thinking Punoy before na picture ko, pangalan ko, school ko, tapos sinilagay niya sa baba, um, wag niyo siyang saktan kausapin nyo lang, mm-hmm. tapos naka-smiley face. I mean, para sa akin, oo, naka-smiley face ka, pero parang feeling ko, inaano mo yung followers mo Medyo, na, oo, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. parang oh, ganun. Parang sarcastic. Oo, oh, or... para, kaya, yun, actually, apektado trabaho, kasi nakalive na ako for the whole month of October. Mm-hmm. Apektado school ko, na dapat sana, natuloy-tuloy. Tuloy-tuloy, kasi two years na lang. Mm-hmm. Ang daming naapektuhan, Kaya lang, ganun eh, hindi, let's just face it eh, yung parang all my life naman, madali naman ako mag-adapt. I mean, if you are being an orphan for at seven years old, I mean, nawala, I mean, kasi adapted lang ako ngayon. Uh, yung parang, nasanay, madali ako mag-adapt kasi I've been living to different fam- aunties and uncles para mm-hmm. makapag-aral, mm-hmm. yung ganun, tapos na-adapt ako ng tita ko, high school na yata ako, parang ganun. So, madali ako mag-adapt sa sitwasyon, mm-hmm. yung parang I've been living independently. Yung parang ganun. Well, well, you've revealed that you were adopted. Would you say that uh, that's harder than what you're doing no. now? No. Kasi yung parang, yung nag-adopt naman sa akin, mm-hmm. ano, yung parang, they've treated me as if I'm their own. Ano. Yung parang, ano lang, siguro kaya ako stronger kasi mas, though sabi natin adopted ka, there are times kasi before ako na na-adopt na hanapin mo pa rin yung pamilya mo. Mm-hmm. Though you're living with an aunt, syempre, may, meron silang sariling family. Though I'm not, hindi ako na-treat na masama. Mm. It's just that there's a part of you na, ano, maghahanap ka ng nanay, ng tatay. Yun lang. Pero, I mean, families, yung mga, yung mga aunties and uncles, yung parang very grateful ako kasi hindi ako makakatapos kung hindi dahil sa kanila. Elementary, parang ganun, nagtulong-tulong sila. And I'm great, ma- both mother's side and father's side. Siguro, kaya lang ako strong kasi hindi naman ganun kadali yung pinagdaanan ko. Kaya nga sabi ko, I'm okay. Every time someone is asking me, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Parang, yeah. okay lang. Kaya. Kaya. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of like, oh, that's a positive thing. Do you think there are any positive opportunities that will come about 
ngayon na out ka na. Ano, na sana mamaya pagpunta. I mean, sana mamaya pagpunta ko sa school, payagan nila ako. Kasi late notice na yung leave of absence sa school eh. Mm. Na sana payagan nila ako mag leave of absence. Or, basta, yun lang yung, ang school lang. Kasi pangarap ko talaga maging abogado eh. Pangarap ko talaga yung, nag, um, I'm selling ulam sa office just to pay the tuition fee, yung mga ganun. Yung parang gusto ko talaga siya, matagal ko na siyang pangarap. Mm -hmm. yun, lang, yun, yun lang yung medyo masakit na part sa akin na naapektuhan. Mm -hmm. Pero other than that, kaya ko naman. What got you into law school in the first place? Gusto like, ko talaga siya. Anong klaseng um, practice po yung balak ninyo once you Sabi ko dati, gusto ko magtrabaho sa PAO. Sa PAO? Okay. Sinabi ko na yan before. I think sa Twitter ko yan sinabi na pag ako natapos, gusto ko magtrabaho sa PAO. Okay. So, this was even before oh, oh, eh, uh, Pinoy ako vlog mm -mm. pa? As in, talagang mm -mm. yun. Sabi ko sa PAO ako magtatrabaho. Kasi, um, PAO lawyers, mas, ano, hangang-hanga ako sa kanila. How, how, yung parang 100 cases in, for, ang hira. Parang, yeah, yeah. gusto ko doon, gusto ko parang feeling ko, mas marami kang matutulungan pag nandun ka. Right. Kasi itong pag-aaral ko, hindi, nagkakapag-aral ako sa tulong ng iba't ibang tao. Mm -mm. I mean, Someone donated my study table. Yung batchmate ko na lawyer na, mm -hmm. si Mark. Dinonate niya yung study table ko. Someone donated old books, second-hand books. Yung parang, parang ano to eh, parang contribution ng mga kaibigan at kamag-anak. Mm -hmm. Yung parang, and, and working sa PAO, it's just like paying it forward. Right. Kasi tinulungan ako. Gusto ko rin ipasa na matulungan din sila kung sakaling makatapos ako makapasa sa war. Okay. Say you get into PAO and you have a good career, would you ever plan on running for office? No. Agad <laughs> agad, no. Yeah. Marami namang paraan para tumulong na hindi na kailangan mag-office eh. So speaking of public office, um, recently lumabas yung SWS ratings ni mm -hmm. President Duterte na um, medyo bumaba na po yung ratings niya. Do you think, do you see a shift in uh, public opinion dahil doon? Or, uh, or I mean before that? May parang, as a blogger who's been very political for ilang months now, like, na feel mo ba yung pag-iba ng, ng disposition ng mga tao? Or parang paya ko lang? Since, uh, Ako kasi ano, yung result ng survey, mas gusto ko siyang tingnan as a wake-up call for this administration. Na parang maybe through that survey, marirealize nila na may mga pagkukulang sa iba't ibang aspeto. And then they will make it right. Kasi para sa tao, yun lang. Yung shift, hindi kasi ako, ma alam yun, hindi, hindi ako maghihilig mag-analyze ng mga mm -hmm. trending. Sabi ko nga sa'yo, <laughs> yung parang, ano lang ako, yung parang sa pagbablog lang. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun. Pero other than that, sana ano, kasi pare-pareho naman yung gusto kahit anti-Duterte ka or pro-Duterte ka. Pare-pareho naman yung gusto eh, magkaroon ng magandang bansa. Yung free na, yung safe na Pilipinas. Yung ganun, yun lang, pare-pareho lang naman yung gusto. Siguro magkakaiba lang yung way kung paano ipapakita. Okay, so let's uh, wrap up this conversation with one last question. Okay. Um, what is your message to the people who are rooting for you and to the people who are uh, doing the opposite? Ano, doon sa doing the opposite, um, ano, yung parang if Sabi ko nga, I'll, I'll be filing a case kasi. Yung mm -hmm. parang, I'll just see them sa court. Tapos yung ano naman, yung those rooting for me. Sabi ko nga, di ba, I don't consider them as supporters. I consider them as pub. Bawat isa sa kanila si pub. And with that, I think we should end our Rappler talk. Thank you very much, Jopper Laurio, for uh, joining you. us. Um, this has been Marguerite De Leon. Thank you for watching us.